Hi, welcome to today's Tuesday tip. Three more tips for you in the summer series. First of all, we're gonna talk about the Affirmative Fair Housing Marketing Plan. You have to have an Affirmative Fair Housing Marketing Plan, which tells who your audience is, who you're marketing to, who you're trying to get to live at your property. And you know the old rule of thumb is that you're marketing to those that are least likely to apply. A couple of things I want you to keep in mind for your MOR review. Number one, remember to do a study to find out if your de demographics have changed in your area in the last five years. Number two, make sure you have recent contacts, recent information that you have sent out in the community for marketing your property. Number three, make sure it's posted. Next, we're going to talk about the outreach period. The reviewer might ask you if he or she can review some of the latest marketing tools that you have used to advertise the property. So if you have gone by your affirmative fair housing marketing plan, you can show them those items. Or if you have something new that you're doing, you might be doing social media, make sure that you keep a copy of whatever type of advertising or outreach that you have been doing. The last thing we want to talk about is the maintenance and work orders. You need a maintenance schedule. You have to have a maintenance schedule. The reviewer is going to ask you about it. He or she is going to ask you after you inspect the units, how are the units repaired? How do you handle the discrepancies? And that will be through a work order. So have a log of your work orders. All of this is a part of making a great score on an MOR. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at Navigate and we'll be able to answer them for you. We want to thank you. We want to tell you to continue to stay safe, enjoy your summer, and we'll see you next Tuesday for another Tuesday tip.